problem statement is, if the shaft has an equilateral triangle cross section and is made from an alloy that has an allowable shear stress of 12 KSI or 12,000 pounds per square inch, determine the maximum allowable torque T that can be applied to end B. Also find the corresponding angle of twist of end B. So in this case, we're actually given the maximum allowable shear stress that this um, shaft can experience, which is 12 KSI or 12,000 pounds per square inch. So let me go ahead and write the equation for the maximum shear stress for this cross section. So max shear stress for a triangular shaft um, is 20 times the torque divided by a cubed. In this case, the sides would of this triangle is A, and we know A is 3 inches. Here, the length of the shaft is 2 feet. It's fixed on one end at point A, and at point B, we have this torque T being applied. So from here, all we do is some algebraic manipulation to solve for your T. And let's go ahead and do that. So the torque that we're trying to solve for here is equal to the maximum shear stress times A cubed divided by 20. And we know that the maximum is the allowable. This is the most that we could experience of this shaft due to the material. So in this case, we just plug in the dimension as well as this allowable shear stress to solve accordingly for the torque that can be applied to the shaft. So the maximum torque that can be applied to the shaft is 16,200 pound inch. In this case, I converted the KSI into 1,000 pound per square inch. And so this is the maximum torque that this shaft could, um, that you could apply to this shaft such that it won't exceed this maximum allowable stress here. So now let's go ahead and solve for the angle of twist. And so using the equation we wrote previously, so the angle of twist is 46 times the torque times the length of the shaft divided by A4 and the shear modulus of elasticity. So let's go ahead and solve. So we get 46 times 16,200 pound inch times two feet. Keep in mind, keep your units consistent. So I went ahead and converted the feet into inches. So 12 inches is equal to one foot to cancel out the feet. Divide by three inch to the fourth power and the shear modulus, which is 3.7 million or um, 3,700,000 pounds per square inch. So let's go ahead and solve our angle of twist in radians. And so we get 0 0.0597 radians and we went ahead and converted the radians into degrees and we get 3.42 degrees is the angle of twist at point B. Now when it comes to all the other um, methods of solving such as statically indeterminate torque loaded members when you're trying to solve for any unknown torques or the torque reactions in a given system the method the method is still the same the only different that the only thing that changes here the equations that you're going to be using for the maximum shear stress and the angle of twist so just keep that in mind